We continue to cover this huge windstorm that's causing damage across our area today. We've already seen dozens of trees falling, some of them onto houses, and more than 100,000 people do not have power this afternoon. Trevor Alt is live in Marion County taking a look at the scene there. And Trevor, what are you seeing? Hey, good afternoon, Ken. I'm on Fruitland Road. This is in Marion County, just east of Salem. I want to give you a look at one of many trees that we've seen that have fallen over today. Take a look at the size of that trunk, and it actually split off from a larger tree behind it. You can see up there where that broke away, and you can imagine the force of the wind that had to bring this down because this tree was all the way across the road. It took about a dozen drivers who were stranded to move it away piece by piece, and now you can see all of this debris that has been left behind. This was a serious problem, but hardly even on the radar of the county sheriff's office because thankfully it didn't take down a power line. But from what I've seen, there haven't been any massive trees doing damage to houses like we're seeing up closer to Portland, but crews have had their hands full with all these things coming down. They've been very active through the morning, keeping the roads clear, and we've seen wind gusts as high as 60 miles per hour in Salem. It's enough to rip whole sections of shingles off of roofs. Well, perhaps the biggest problem, though, down power lines. They are all over the place. I personally saw five different areas where that had happened and the Marion County Sheriff's Office said they'd received around 25 or 30 calls and that was when I talked to them more than an hour ago. Well, we also want to reiterate there are a lot of intersections without power right now in their stoplights and I saw dozens and dozens of vehicles blow through those intersections without stopping just thinking that they had the right of way. That is a recipe for disaster. We want to remind everyone that you have to treat those like a four-way stop. Now back out here live, we do have a little bit of sunshine people up, which is a nice reprieve from some on and off what I would consider to be downpour so far today, but the wind definitely still holding strong and it's very much out of the ordinary. The people that I talked to that live here said they usually only see pine cones fall. Obviously, with this tree coming down behind me, that is a much larger case today. Reporting live in Marion County, Trevor Alt, Coin 6 News.